Bothwell Middle School in Marquette held a very unique art fair this evening. John Truitt explains. This is the Great Sphinx of Giza. Um, it was built around 4,500 years ago. Seventh grader Jude Faber has always been fascinated with ancient civilizations. He especially is intrigued by the Sphinx of ancient Egypt. The thing that stands out to me is the mystery around it and like we don't know everything about it. That's what makes it so fascinating for me. Zeke Miller is interested in the world's first sundial and how they work. A sundial originally they were um, the only way to tell time and then you know we've had different different many different ways to tell time but it's really cool looking back and seeing how we used to tell time um, and just looking back and seeing where we were compared to where we are now. Both of these models are part of Bothwell Middle School's Night at the Museum, an art and history fair held each year to help these middle schoolers understand the complexity of life in the ancient world. This is a great project for us. We do two of these a year and it provides them with an opportunity to really go in depth on a particular aspect of one of four world history civilizations that we study. Every seventh grader at Bothwell participated in the exhibition. Night at the museum's focus was understanding more about one of the cradles of civilization, Mesopotamia, ancient China, Egypt or the Indus River Valley. Lexi Main allowed us to see the beauty of the hanging gardens of Babylon. I think all history is uh, really interesting to me. Uh, I love to learn about it. Uh, ancient Mesopotamia has um, very cool structures though that and I personally found the hanging gardens of Babylon very interesting. Every kid participating in this show was incredibly proud of their work and actually became experts on their chosen topic. And when they got home, they became the teacher, explaining the history to their families. Some of them uh, who have been quiet for most of the year, when we do the presentations in class and down here, just really bloom. And it is really fun to see how much they have learned about the particular artifact that they made. In Marquette, John Truitt, Local 3 News.